Martin Vuselego Babugele Makaya. Na mocha, excel lo wange vivi. She say epic bendi, my look. Where we'll be meeting up with Mike Horry, who is a swimmer, a local swimmer. Let's go to one of the established swimmers in the country. Lo, hampa impil, if I can put it that way. Go go swimming. So we're gonna be spending the day with him. So we're gonna go to Wenda Eni and Wenda. So right now he's going to walk in. Oh, he's cycling in a way. That was cyclist. He looks for his super fit. We are swimming. We are cyclist. Now we're not saying. Tell him good news. Good news by singing, Linda. Mike, what up, bro? How's it? All right, it's all good, bro. It's all good. You're good. I'm all right. I'm all right, man. Hi guys. My name is Mark Hoor. I'm 22 years old. I'm a Swazi national swimmer. Okay, I wanna be sure. You swim or you cycle? Both. I swim, I cycle here and then I swim for training, which is what I do every day. He's super fit, guys. <laughs> so, and I don't want anything to do with uh, basically, you remember the last episode that happened with Nogwanda and all that. So I'm good with, I'm good with bikes. So today we're gonna be swimming. Gonna be swimming. Yes. Mike, we are here today as Swazi TV. We wanna follow you around. We wanna see what we went down here, and Onke. You, you are a swimmer, right? Yes, but I am. Who is Mike? Well, um, I'm Mark Hoa. I'm 22 years old. Um, basically, I've grown up around Big Band, and okay. basically, this is where my uh, swimming career started. Uh, as a young kid at uh, six years old, mm -hmm. uh, my brother, yeah, older brother, who taught me how to swim exactly in this pool. Okay. And from then, after he passed away in two years, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I figure, you know, I should carry on the button and okay. just swim hard and train hard every day and just be the best in Swaziland, you know, and show him what he could, where he could have gone, you know, all these years. Yeah. And it's amazing uh, as to how far I've come, mm -hmm. you know, and all the uh, obstacles that I had to, you know, endure and, yeah. and, you know, pull through and still training, you know. And you know how life is in Swaziland? It's very hard. Of course. So it's hard to make means of coming to training every day and, you need your kids, you need that, you need that, you need to go need all the support you need, yeah. Yeah, so thankfully I have a wonderful family that have been supporting me. Okay, we, 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 we're going to catch up more on that later. Oh. But right now, we just want to see you inside. We just want to, <laughs> hopefully you're going to show me some skills oh, okay. on the I hope the you got board. the costume on. Speedo, yeah. no jeans. No, 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 I'm good. I'm okay. covered. I'm good. <laughs> Let's go inside. <laughs> Chill, bro. I'm good. Right, right now, see La uh, Gopal side. La Puma is gonna attach him, and he's going. He's probably going to show me a thing or two or, or two. We must want to go see more swimming, the basics of swimming, of course. Mark, it's all on you, bro. Okay. Um, firstly, what I normally do when I get to training, I go do a routine of stretching. So we're gonna do dynamic uh, stretches. country yeah. in quite a number of competitions. Mr. can you highlight some of the competitions that will represent I don't know what to call them. Lama division or something. The uh, not, the, not the competition per se. Go to you you going for a backstroke, uh, freestyle. Okay. Some of La La specialized corner. There is two hundred meters, there's fifty meters, okay. hundred and fifty or something like that. Alright. Uh, basically my career 
Well, internationally it began in 2010 when uh, when we Swaziland hosted mm -hmm. the uh, Zone Six Games. Yes. Uh, in I think it was in Baban. The swimming was in Baban. Uh, however, we're all mm -hmm. staying in Luyenga. Okay. So ever since then, I've been to Commonwealth Games 2014 in Glasgow, Scotland. Mm -hmm. Uh, still representing Switzerland. I've been to uh, Russia the next year, 2015, for FINA World Championships. Okay. And uh, 2016, I went to Canada, still FINA World Championships, and 2017, Budapest, uh, still representing the country. And now we're hoping to uh, for Commonwealth again since mm -hmm. the next four years. And I uh, missed out on, on Rio. And uh, yeah, and uh, well. The, the race, the, the distance, the one can allow to extract the little bit of the Okay, we are probably gonna show us. Okay, yeah. Okay, we have butterfly, okay. backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. Okay. I'll show you later as we go on. Okay. And my races uh, this uh, this year is uh, 100 freestyle and 50 freestyle. You'll be competing in Glaumar race yes. this time around. Yes. All right. Let's go to the competition. Those like double on a Okay. Yeah. Now I'll show you butterfly. All right, please. Yo, Patizo can't swim for days, I must say. I had to save him in the water a few times, but uh, yeah, he's, more, more sessions will, will come up, or more swimming sessions will be, he'll be quite good. Ngazi, I want for freestyle, man. Show me the freestyle. Okay. Then let's freestyle. Okay. <laughs> let's freestyle. Maybe. He'll have to uh, have sessions for close to a year for for him to be in a competitive level. I've seen some of the strokes. Let do go see me. In general, looks like she do mark mark show mark the mark he don't want it. This one of Emma Lady. Yes, Emma. Smart show. I would say I got something freestyle. Some kind of boom boom we carry on. So right now we're gonna go home and see. Cause from here. Went on a cry. Scuba and I am. So say it's a lag. Scuba and forgive a pillar like that. So let's go. Okay, right now we see the Stovuga Emma Trophy and medals are uh, among like our uh, accumulated over the years. Uh, uh, and I must say, I'm impressed. <laughs> Mark, so many medals. Yeah, um, like I said, um, I began my career like a long time ago. Yeah, so, at six years, so, every year it's always uh, another year, fresh new year to, to have new goals, you know, trying to achieve more goals. and. This is what brings you. Yeah, hey, it's quite impressive. <coughs> Pick any that My stand out one. for you. Yeah. This is one. I was in uh, South Africa, SA level, SA level one when I did my. Uh, I think I was 16 years old. Okay. Did my 50 meters butterfly. Why is it so special? 
Because I was up against uh, yes, go on. really uh, fast guys there. And you, you came? I came first. Oh, That's why it? I got the gold medal in South Africa. When I would pick any, did it, is there any medal for right now, maybe overseas? Um, tokens, yes, but not uh, as overseas. A yes, yes, not okay. as a winner's medal. Okay, but you've participated yeah. in many yeah. international, yeah. international yeah. events. Yeah. And, and trophies? <coughs> Well, these are all the uh, trophies that I've received over the high school life. Okay. This was my uh, last in Form 5 when I got the excellence in swimming. And this one as well, okay. Sportman of the Year. And this one as well, and still in high school. Uh, we normally get um, trophies from the Swaziland National Swimming Associations, yeah. but as they, they rotate. Okay. So if I win senior male swim of the year, um, next year will be someone else. Okay. So they just keep rotating like that. Oh, okay. okay. So these ones are the ones that I get to keep home. E these are yours? Yeah, these are mine. Okay, e yeah. they are quite good. But I'm sure you're looking at adding more, so you need more space. Yeah, I need more space to find that I have to try to find space in my bedroom, hanging yeah. somewhere. I mean, it's only 22 and already <laughs> yeah. the number of, meda yeah. of medals and trophies la 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 J in boom. And Mabu would say 22, there's a lot to come from him. We're expecting a lot from you. Yeah, I'm also expecting a, a lot from me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we're taking it a year, each year when it comes, you know. Uh, just see what the uh, calendar looks like and see what competitions are there so we can try to train for them and and see if we can uh, qualify to actually yeah. compete because now we're having the Commonwealth Games coming up and we still have to make the team yeah, so it's a lot of pressure the uh, SOGA has really increased the uh, qualifying standards for, yeah. for our swimmers okay this yeah. is what I normally do after uh, training okay. we normally focus on the core and uh, stroke the techniques so the books that, uh, Yes, fast tumble turns, okay. fast diving in the water. To be able to move, you have to need your, you have to use your core. Okay. All right. So for you, uh, I won't kill you. Just only Please ten. Don't. Please. Just only ten. All right. So you are saying you won't kill me, but you only get a ten. <laughs> I mean, ten is the basic for every uh, starter. I think five is the basic. Five is the basic. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what we can do. Okay. Definitely, five is the best. Ten. You are funny. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do my own counting? <laughs> I'm doing my own counting. Wow. Two, <laughs> four, <laughs> six. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Patricia, we can oh, do sorry. this. Oh. We can do this. Let's go. Is that last week ten? Seven. Oh. Eight. Oh, dear, I can go for days. Nine. Days. <laughs> Ten. See, that was easy. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. Yeah. Easy. One, two, three. <laughs> so, Mark, you, you should go prepare for school. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, 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 Before the headmaster kills us. You know, so yeah. we're going to catch up, my boy. I mean, I'm good here. <laughs> I'm happy here. You go. Go do your thing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I got here at school, UPS primary. Um, well, the headmaster was more nervous than I am because uh, she has to uh, assemble everyone together. But yeah, um, the assembly was great. Um, the children were really happy to see Swazi TV. So your first period is that? Quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the time period, what do you usually get up to? Uh, just see what, because I'm, since I'm a sport coordinator, I need to see competitions ahead. 
is everything arranged, transport arranged, you know, all those sort of things. All right, like for today, what do we do today? What are you going to be doing today? So today I have... Before the first period, of course. Yeah, I have to arrange if the goalpost arrive at the club because we have in Sunset Soccer okay. on Thursday next week. Yeah. And yeah, just get that done and yeah. Oh, so you basically coordinate all the other sporting court, yeah. not just swimming? not just swimming. Okay. So mm. it's your soccer, your also coach rounders, soccer. cricket, you know, all those sorts of things. Oh, yeah. is it? Alright, let's go to your office. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Luckily for you, I'm very busy today. You know, that's why I said I'm being very busy. That's oh. why I said that pool. Yeah, this day is perfect for us. Yeah. It was perfect? It is perfect. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. That's perfect. Because I was worried that maybe. Man, yeah. do you like literally coach the Berlin cricket or are you just get For it? the first term, it's just the uh, the main focus is swimming. Oh. And then after the gala, then I shift to the other sports. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, now, please tell us what the office in the Akuma figure and join What in the Wendago, like your day to day uh, job? Mm, basis, okay. Uh, well, I pray first before I start of anything. Um, then I look at uh, any upcoming events. Since I'm a sport coordinator, I have to make sure that all the uh, sporting courts have their equipment ready for the afternoon activities and just to see. And then look forward to uh, festivals if they're coming up. Mm -hmm. So I have to check my calendar and see if I've sorted out everything pertaining if, if it's an away game. I have to make sure that they all have transport arranged and everything is running on, on point. As now as I'm speaking, we have Sunset Talker next week, Thursday. So today I'll be looking at uh, if the goalposts, because um, apparently ours got ruined. So we're trying to get ones from New Tech High School. Okay. So so we have to transport them right across to Ibomo Country Club. So, so basically everything local sports related doesn't happen on our doing. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I'm going to Yes, I'm the go-to guy for the sports. It all comes down to sacrifice, you know? Yeah. You have to sacrifice your sleep. You have to sacrifice time with your family, mm. you know? You have to sacrifice time with friends because you end up not having that much of a social yeah. life. Yeah. So basically, it's early mornings and late afternoons, you know? So with that, it all comes with determination and having a clear vision and goal mm -hmm. as to what you really want to do in your sport. What's your clear vision and goal? At the moment. Yeah. At the moment. <laughs> well, not sure how Commonwealth is going, the selection of the team. Okay. But I was hoping that I make the team for Commonwealth. Okay. And then we have China, Fina World Championships. Of course. But the main one, I was hoping that all Africa games next year, 2019, at least um, qualify for that. And just to actually prove to a lot of people that I can still make it for Olympics. Yeah. So the All Africa games will actually be a, a gauge or rather a stepping point. Into yeah. a but just to touch briefly, go of the challenges okay. that <coughs> you face daily as a swimmer. In Switzerland. Um, you find that you don't have the right kind of food or you don't have the amount of food that you're supposed to eat after a session. Um, yeah, and just getting to the, ve the, 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 the venues for training and stuff up and down. Now I have a bike, at mm. least <laughs> I, I can cycle. Um, if I didn't, I'll have to walk the whole distance. The whole distance up and down, which is like 30 minutes walking today and yeah. So, it's those uh, ch challenges that you get. Mm. And then sometimes you find that, as a swimmer, you find that when you get to the pool, it's not in the right condition. You know, until you okay, they have acid in the pool, so you have to, you find that you have to wait the whole week. Sometimes there was a year where we had to wait the whole time. Yeah. Just for... Yeah, so we had to compromise, we had to see where we go to find the pool that's working. But, oh, with all those challenges, you managed to I be... I managed to still be at the top. Yeah. Because, like I said, clear vision and goal that you want this so you do whatever you can if you're not in the water you're out there in the gym okay you know so just to make all everything come together but since with all that being said and done yeah you're happy with the way things are turning out to be yeah. personally personally yes i can say i'm happy
Okay. So, Mark, it's your prep time. Yeah. You're supposed to get something, grab something on the run. Yes. What are we going to have? Um, today, Batizwe, I prepared you Borovos uh, mm -hmm. with Mr. Stigen. Uh -huh. so, I like how we put that. Yeah. You prepared with Mr. Stigen. <laughs> when Mr. In, Stigen. Actual, in actual fact, we know who prepared the meal. Yeah. <laughs> so, that will be... That's three Borovos rolls. Yeah. So you're just grabbing a quick bite before your next class? Before my next class, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Yes, of course. Mm. And of course, you always have a okay. hot secret sauce. Mm. Hot Catching me with a very bad face here. <laughs> On the TV. <laughs> On the TV. With <laughs> <laughs> a swollen cheek. <laughs> With all the training, the end of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you're preparing for Emma games, Emma events, Lama Kulum. Well, since I'm a sprinter and I'm very active, well, my diet requires um, the energy foods to be up there. Okay. So that's my starch. Um, and of course, since I do a little bit of exercises, like workouts, I do my, uh, I need my proteins, so that's why we have puravos. Okay. Yeah. And then, obviously, we need to uh, pack it up with uh, salads and whatever, you yeah. know, to replace whatever uh, salts we're missing or mm -hmm. that I've used up. But mainly, it's drinking enough water every day and not waiting until I fall hungry to eat. Mm. So I eat and have snacks in between. We went to in between classes. In between. Yeah, in between classes, yeah. Okay. Right now, we are going to a challenge. Hey, and you know, we see challenge going to be We're going to do Emma keep ups with Mark, because you know, we see the challenge. So we are going to start with one. So we are going to put some extra. Sometimes in Chengdu, we see going to get pressure. We see, but that extra because we are going to see, we are going to keep up now. But well, but without that, man, and we have three chances. Because Mark was sitting there with his eyes on the before he knows this thing. But when I got the chances, I'm I'm getting to work. I'm balancing. But see, what should I get? Start the pass. Start the pass. Okay. You go first. But when you don't, you see. You good? Yeah. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. How many do I have to go? As as you can. Yeah. You did 12 now. No. Yeah. My time. Of course. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Patiso cheated there. He had a, a pre practice before our main shoot, so the, the 29, no, no, no. I, I could have taken that one. Since I did a 12, so I, I, I feel like I, I would have beaten him there. So right now, Mtanti, the only, Lobashuli, the bang two, the females, I think. Lobashuli. Of course, we've seen Max today, Simbonile, Kutsuboa, Logo, Xenas, who see again as Xen, Sato, Chimanae, then Sakubega Sabogama Metals, ah, okay. You know, one of, since he started the show, one of Lumflone. Impressing, uh, impressive uh, metal collection, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's very good. So, and we followed him, Sam Lanzeles Kolweni, Sabo Kutsi, when they're in day to day. Well, I can say um, this is a great initiative from Swazi TV. I mean, having to go through all the uh, athletes in Swaziland who are uh, unrecognized. Um, this is really good. Um, I'm happy. And I'd just like to say to the viewers out there, I hope you're inspired today. I hope that um, if you have a dream or a goal and you feel like, you know, there are a lot of obstacles, you can do it. You know, it's just a matter of making a decision and getting up in the morning and say you're going to do it. 
It's been lovely. It's been a pleasure.